Hey you guys, I know that it's been a little bit, but um, basically I just had so much content um, that I had filmed prior to moving in and kind of like the early stages of moving in that the last Sunday that I didn't post, um, it was just all that kind of content and nothing was as done as I had wanted it to be so I was just like let me miss a week and I'll update them like fresh and give you guys good new content so here we are number one I cut my hair I don't know if you guys can tell but it's a pretty big change for me but I'm obsessed with it and I just love this for summer if you guys actually know me in real life you know that I honestly hate hair I hate doing my hair I just hate hair in general and I hate having hair on my face. So I'm convinced that one day in my life I'm gonna go bald because I can't deal with this on my own. But basically I wanted to take you guys along today on um, a few little errands that I'm gonna be doing. So I'm going to Winners with Joey right now. Um, I'm gonna take Mello with me because this dog needs to be outside. She's going crazy. Um, and what else? Then I'm having Nick and Keon over tonight for dinner. So I'm going to show you guys that. We're having taco night. So I'm super excited. Yeah. So that's basically the scoop for right now. I'm going to do a little montage of just some cleaning in my kitchen and living room this morning. Because I have laundry to do. Dishwasher to unload. I just need to kind of get that started before we head out. But, um, and that too. I need to get dressed because we need to go. I'm also going to test drive a car. Okay, so there's definitely a lot that you guys have missed, but like I said, I'll explain more to you a bit later, but let's just clean up the kitchen first. to attack the leaf she loves being outside you guys it's crazy and it's legit so beautiful I cannot wait to be outside today the day what's up you guys so finally made it in the car it's now 11 40 i wanted to leave a lot sooner but um you know when you start cleaning it just doesn't end so um i'm headed to winners right now i have mellow in the car joey is following me um because he has plans for lunch afterwards actually i don't know why the radio is that loud but um yeah basically i'm going to look for a desk i'm going to look for a new laundry bin a lamp so yeah, we're gonna try to get those things. Um, and then whatever I can't find, I'm gonna go and try and look for in a different store. Melo keeps crying, I don't know why. What's wrong? You don't wanna be in your car seat? Melo. <laughs> Good morning. <sighs> okay, so just got home, got McDonald's sometimes you just have to and I was so hungry I couldn't even think so fun little story time winners was packed like not enjoyable packed but I honestly cannot complain because I found so much stuff when I tell you I literally went there looking for a desk hoping and and knowing almost that I wasn't gonna find one Within maybe five seconds, I found the desk. 
So I was really happy about that. So I brought it home. It's in my car right now. I'm waiting for Nick. If you guys don't know, Nick, or maybe you know, but new people don't know. Nick is one of my best friends. I've known him for over 10 years now, and so is Keon. Keon's only coming later. If you guys don't know Keon, which once again, I think you do, but uh, for the new people, Keon is my best friend also of 10 years. Um, they've been family friends since we were in elementary school, friends with my sister and me and my brother. Um, and basically, uh, yeah, they're just my best friends. So just a little fun fact, um, but he's coming to meet me now and he's going to help me take my desk out of my car. So that's that. Can't wait to show you guys what that looks like. And then I'm going to do a little unboxing or haul, I guess, of what I got from Winners. Found a laundry bin that I wanted to put in my laundry room. So I'm going to show you that too. But I also wanted to say, it is like my first time living in a building, right? And I just feel like people... I need to move this on the couch because... The lighting is just so bad the other way. So it's my first time living in a building and in a condo. And I know other people don't know that, but my experience so far is so like, I thought it would be so good and so fun and perfect. Literally the owner of this building sucks. Like, I don't know who it is specifically because once again, I'm new. I, I wasn't introduced to anyone around here and they're just so rude. I got two notices on my door to pick up my dog's poop outside. And for me, like at my house back home, um, at my old house, I would just leave like a couple of them like in the backyard and pick them up all at once, right? So for the first two nights that I was here, okay, I left like five of them outside. I was gonna pick them up the next morning and I got a notice. But it's like literally pitch dark outside and obviously on the white snow it shows so much more but it's right in front of my lawn so to me it's like how do you see that so i got one notice and then i got a second notice that was not closely as nice as the first one which i understand if people are frustrated but it's like it's like the first two days that i've moved into this place give me a break you know what i mean and it sucks because the person didn't even sign their name. So I have no idea who it is. So I'm walking around the building, not knowing who's writing me this letter instead of someone just coming or knocking at my door and asking me to do it. So I just feel like that's really shitty. And on top of it, this girl just right now was picking up all the garbage kind of around our building because I don't, I feel like something like exploded or whatever. Anyways, there's just been a bunch of garbage all over the grass. And although the grass isn't my um, property, my patio is. So wherever there's like a cement for the patio that's my property but the grass is a shared property um so she was picking up like all the stuff on the grass and there was one poop and she just came pointed at it and said uh you know there's a poop there and i said okay thank you and i said have a great day and she just walked away and like turned so i just stared at her like what's your problem you know what i mean like is that how you talk to people i just feel like it's so rude and once again, I completely understand if I was a building owner and someone was doing this, I would want it to be picked up, but I just feel like there's a way to tell someone. And I just feel like she's so rude. Like, I don't know her. She doesn't know me and she doesn't even say, hi, how are you? You know, can you please be like, you know, like it, it's just, it was so rude. So anyways, I try to be as mindful as I can, but you know what? If she has to tell me that there's one poop that I didn't see when I left, like I don't have the whole, like my, my only job is not to just stare at the poop that Melo does outside and pick it up all the time. Like I don't always know when she's pooping. I have other things to do in the house. So if I miss one, it's like, give me a break. You know what I mean? And there was literally just one outside. So anyways, it's just kind of annoying and it's pissing me off a little bit. Um, but yeah, I just have to share that with you guys because I just feel like that's really irritating and it's been irritating me and I'm just kind of over it. Also, with this stupid building, there's also a parking issue with visitors parking. So originally there was no visitors parking, then there was and there wasn't. It's like everyone in this building doesn't know the right rules because i messaged like three people and they all told me different things so it's just really confusing honestly two of my friends got tickets around here too so i just i don't know it's weird it's really weird 
Anywho, I'm gonna finish eating and then I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Winners. Start off, I can get it out. In the laundry room, I needed a paper towel holder and this one's really different and cute, so spice up your life. It doesn't even stand properly though. Oh, cause there's a little tissue thing under. Okay, so got that. Then I got a pan to match my other pans. <laughs> Nick is here watching me do this haul. So, and tonight we're doing taco night, by the way, if you didn't know. Oh, bless. So I'm gonna make the taco meat in here. Then I got this big laundry bin that's gonna go in my laundry room right now. And I needed a garbage can for the laundry room that matches the layout. laundry bin. I mean a garbage can, what am I saying? It's kind of fun. Should always be my filmer. Okay. So first, I have to get rid of this laundry bin. But, I'm gonna put it, come, come, come. Let's hope it fits, or else it's gonna be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it fits, I think. I wanna put it in here, because I don't want it to show, you know, when people are here. Makes sense. I think with time, it'll stay closed. It just has to mold properly. You know what I mean? Nice. Perfect! Look at that! My laundry bin. I hate the look of a laundry bin anyways. So, I'm gonna get rid of this ugly one, even though I liked it because it was on wheels. No need for that anymore. And this, I'm gonna just leave it, I think, on the floor right here for now. What's up with things being wobbly? Or maybe my floors. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, look what we just put up, you guys, in the entrance. I'm obsessed with it. I think it looks so good right here. I just need to style this table a little bit better, but I think it looks so cute. And it's from Winners, if you guys are wondering. Is it this? I don't know. Welcome to my new car. <laughs> okay, so a little background story on why I want the Audi Q3. So, I borrowed my cousin's Audi a couple years ago when I was going to Joey's birthday. And I loved the drive and I drove like two hours away and it was literally amazing. So, just test driving again today. This is a 2017 and all black outside and interior leather seats bluetooth and yeah so she's cute she's really cute she i like this wheel Hey you guys, so I just got home from my test drive and this car was actually stunning and I looked for a few other ones on the market to compare against and it seems that this one is the best priced one right now and is available so it's kind of stressful because I really want to get it but I just need to think about budgeting and exactly what I want. Um, you know I don't want to put myself in like a hard place so um, I definitely have to take my time with this decision, but also kind of hurry up if that makes sense because I'm slowly losing value for my car right now and um, the market is just crazy. Everyone's kind of buying cars. So I've seen the Audi Q3 get um, sold pretty often. I've called a few places that have just sold it. So that's kind of stressful, but in terms of like comfort and the actual drive, it's a beautiful, beautiful car. Um, I really really like it honestly. I have nothing bad to say, but I know that it's good because I've kind of test drove it before Sorry, I'm kind of I'm currently taking out my mixer at the same time as talking to you guys and It's kind of hard to do With one person, but we're getting there Okay 
So, yeah, I haven't even taken out my mixer yet. That's how crazy it's been. But it was a really, really good test drive. He let us take the car on our own. So that honestly makes me a lot more comfortable too because we can kind of say what we want and kind of do what we want. So that's nice. And yeah, he was super nice, super helpful. And I went with my friend Nick, as I, got, as I mentioned to you guys. And Nick knows a lot about cars. So kind of made the process very easy for me. Um, so yeah, I have to talk to my mom about it. I'm gonna ask her what she thinks I should do. Um, you know, if it's right for me. And hopefully put a deposit or I guess kind of take that next step to bring it to my mechanic and see if everything's good with the car. So I will keep you guys updated with that. And we'll go from there when that's ready. But yeah, so now I'm just getting ready for our taco night. Not that I'll need a mixer or anything, but um, I want to kind of clean up the space a little bit before everyone gets here because I feel like I've been kind of letting loose. And now I got my new desk, which I don't remember if I showed you guys, but I'm definitely going to show you right now. I got my new desk from Winners. Here she is. Like, how pretty is this? I love it. Like, I, didn't, I couldn't find something so perfect for my place other than this. Like, I just find it goes so well in here. But I really can't fit much more, so I don't want to overdo it. And now I have to find a place to put my dog cage, which I'll probably fold because I'm going to be working from home from now on. Which I also have to tell you guys... I got a new job. <laughs> um, I got a job in marketing as a marketing manager and social media manager. And I'm really, really, really happy about it. So I can't wait to finally be working from home. I've been praying for this forever. You know, I find it hard with Mello to kind of be away from her and also have a dog walker come into my home. Um, although he's super great and everything, um, I just kind of want to enjoy my house a little bit. Um, you know, I just bought it, so... Definitely want to be able to enjoy that. So I'm really, really happy in that aspect. And um, yeah, I just honestly can't wait to be working from home. I feel like I'm going to feel so much better, especially with COVID. I know it's kind of coming to an end, but it's still not the end. And I'll feel a lot better being able to work right here in my house than obviously elsewhere. So I'm really happy about that. So that's why I needed to kind of get a desk because my last day at work is on Friday. So that's it. I uh, wanted to kind of get the ball rolling and not leave everything up to tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow I can just spend some time at my place and take a nice day to just kind of be home because I feel like I'm never ever here. Anywho, I'm going to continue cleaning up, maybe do a little montage for you guys right now and get ready for taco night. Okay, so little laundry room update. She's basically done. Literally all I have to do in here is the backsplash, which I'm really excited about. But I got the walls repainted, kind of covered up, put some putty, repainted all of this. I got my moldings put back at the bottom, which I love. All my um, cabinet doors are in finally, which I'm obsessed with. I think it looks so good. The back wall was painted. All I need to add here is a mirror. I want to get a window pane mirror if I haven't told you guys before. My sink is now up and running, which I love. Um, I got that little cute paper towel holder. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys in this vlog. 
and then um you know just some counter space but i'm really liking the way this room is coming together and then right here on this wall is going to be my backsplash um so yeah i'm really loving how this is all coming together and i also got the entrance painted so my entrance walls got touched up and repainted as well and my bathroom too which i'm going to show you guys in just a second so there's a little bit of scuffs here and there and it just needed to be touched up so that was done in the entrance so it looks really good and fresh now and my whole condo smells like paint but it's all good and then in my bathroom this wall got entirely repainted the back wall as well this wall as well literally everything actually and even the ceiling because the ceiling had some like little scuffs here and there in the corners and was cracking um so yeah that's all done so basically uh, the only thing that has to be done in this bathroom now is the niche that has to be finished and in my whole condo i would say it's just the niche and um the backsplash in the laundry room so it's really exciting stuff i can't wait obviously i have some decor here and there to do but it's looking pretty good and it's starting to fill up a, a lot so um there's only so much more i can do yeah I have issues, I know. I don't even know what to start with, but I don't think I've done a haul in a hot minute. So I'm actually really excited to show you guys what I got. Um, I have to film here right now because I'm watching my dog outside and I'm terrified that someone's gonna steal her. So I'm just trying to keep a close eye on her. Anywho, starting off with H&M. Okay, so I actually got stuff from H&M Home. So this is not clothing. So this is the first thing that I picked up. So this is just a pillow case. I also bought the pillow, but basically my couch only came with four um, pillows. So it looks like there's missing one. I'll actually just show you guys because you'll understand a lot better that way. So there's this big blanket on my couch right now just because when my dog's like in and out, I put a blanket um, so that it doesn't get dirty but basically one of these pillows came with each couch even the corners. so the corners don't have two pillows i just left that one there because that's where i sit the most um so basically it looks like this one's missing one and this too this isn't as bad because i wouldn't say too many people sit on this side but definitely in the corner um it looks a little bit more empty so i definitely needed to get other pillows hmm My dryer sings way too loud. So basically I got some filler pillows is what I was trying to say. So I'm excited to see how those will look um, once they're all together and set up. So I got that one and then I also got this one and I just feel like they were the cheapest pillows I found. So this was the pillowcase was $20 and the actual pillow comes like this and it was $8. And at winners you go and you find like little pillows sometimes there's good deals because there's like bundles but i haven't found any nice like pillows lately at winners so i was like you know what let me get the pillowcase and just buy a separate pillow it was eight dollars so it's like 28 bucks total which is like about 30 maybe 32 max with tax so i was really 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 happy with that and i love this one it's a lot more structured this one was definitely more expensive this one was 35 dollars um, but I mean, you could tell that there's a lot of detailing in it. Went to Aritzia and got these really cute shorts, which I am obsessed with. I guess they're like a cotton. I know they're like a cotton blend because they appealed to me. Um, yeah, exactly. 85% cotton and 15% linen. So they appealed to me because they were super soft and super structured. I just feel like these would look so cute with like a hat in the summer, like a white t-shirt and white shoes. Just super clean and also really comfortable. Sorry, I keep like looking out my window. Um, I also got this plain white long sleeve from Aritzia as well. I honestly don't have um, any clean white long sleeves anymore. This was $50 because you know when you wear one so often, you just kind of get like that um, armpit like stain with deodorant. I don't know. That, that happens to me personally all the time. So, and I never buy myself basics. So... This was really important for me. Next up, a store I would never go into, but my mom went, wanted to go in and I actually found something really cute. So at Massimo Duty, I got this chemise, I guess you would call it. Like literally stunning quality. It's just this beige chemise with brown buttons. 
and you guys the quality is stunning it was a hundred dollars but completely worth it like you can tell right away when you feel it the quality is amazing so my mom saw and she was like no marina you have to get it and it has like really really nice stitching on the back like just a really nice um chemise so i'm really really happy with this purchase because this will be like kind of like a staple that will last forever if i really take care of it which i always take care of my clothes so stop at zara i got this shirt also influenced by my mom so shout out to my mom for this video <laughs> um I got this cute like summer top, I guess you would say, at Zara. And I wouldn't normally buy something like this, but my mom was like, Marina would be really cute. And then I started seeing it with like a nice pair of jeans in the summer and sneakers or even heels. And you know what? I always look for cute like girly white tops to wear in the summer. And I felt like this would be a really cute one. So also got this really plain um, green and white tie-dye shirt. This too, I figured it'd be really cute with jeans, like a nice pair of white sneakers, just like clean, but like kind of cozy. And then a really cute thing that I found is this green striped bag. It's really random to be honest, but I feel like last summer me and Joey went um, on picnic so often that this would be like a cute like little picnic bag and I don't know I don't have much color so I just I was vibing with the green today with the green tie-dye and the green bag I don't know I just I'm really into it and my mom said it is cute and she would borrow it so it's kind of nice to have little minimalistic things like this sometimes next up Crate and Barrel got nothing too crazy but just something I didn't have before champagne glasses last but not least at by Rito, my mom got me an easter gift because i won't be seeing her on easter because she's gonna actually be going to toronto to visit my sister so she got me this beautiful set from by Rito. so i think if i show it this way it'll be a lot easier to see so if i can open it literally she just got me a whole bunch of goodies which i was freaking out about um so she got me the fleur phantom uh candle which is amazing we had it at our house before and i love the scent it was really really nice and fresh um she got me the blanche hair perfume which i've never tried and i honestly cannot wait to try it i got a bunch of little samples got some pink matches which i actually love and i'm gonna leave right there um she got me the la tulip body wash which i also don't own i own the hand wash and the hand cream but never the body wash so i'm really excited to try this and this is just a little pump that goes in the bottle and then this is like the travel cap um, she also got me this body cream, La Tulip body cream, which also never tried and I can't wait. And then last but not least, she got me the Tulip Mania hand nail cream, which by the way, you guys, I put nails on during quarantine. It was probably the worst thing I could have done. My nails were getting so healthy. Look how disgusting they are now. Just honestly cannot wait for summer and all the good vibes. And when I put these on my couch, I'm going to show you guys probably in the next vlog how they look. And oh my god, I look so tired. So I'm going to end the vlog here and I will see you guys next week. Bye.